but well. hey by the way what's up kurt how you doing <laughs> good morning how's it going friends whoa whoa okay stream here <laughs> took a second to adjust one. you down uh that's the beauty of i just like to say at this point fuck stream yards yeah and fuck their audio management dude it's bullshit terrible. like this yeah that's what I've been saying. I finally can you, turn, uh, can you turn his mic down a little bit more. I didn't turn well, it down. Streamyard did, but I can. Uh-huh. No, it's it's. I, I I apologize to everyone in the chat, and I apologize to you guys. And the problem Streamyards has sh- absolute shit audio management. And yep. to be quite honest, I cannot believe that any of you guys pay for this shit. I use the free <laughs> service. I use this free one, and sometimes I pop pop. I I just capture the screen and capture the screen audio and pipe it in through obs and stream that way because then obs at least can uh, compress the audio but it's crap like this where uh people in chat will say well you're too soft you're too loud the audio's too soft from some, what you're playing and we can't hear it most of the time and it's yeah. bullshit and i can't i i what is stream doing behind the scenes with this audio shit it's unbelievable yeah, the, the only problem with like uh, doing StreamYard and then piping the audio into like OBS or something is is then you just have one, you know, one audio source coming into OBS. So it's not it's like you still can't balance it individually, right? You're still yes, somewhat least, reliant on that. That's true, but at least that way, it, although you only have one audio source, at least when you compress that audio source, so you compress it within the range, it all kind of sounds sort of right. I yeah. mean, it's because you, you're... You're compressing weak audio sources and strong audio sources, so it won't be perfect. But at least it it's better than whatever bullshit StreamYards is doing. Fuck you, StreamYards. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I agree. I hate promotion for StreamYards right now. <laughs> <laughs> Today's show is brought to you by StreamYard, the premier streaming service for uh, YouTube live streamers. You can use StreamYard today, and your audio will suck just like everyone else's. Uh no, I because I got a new audio interface and um, trying. I last night I got it. Fig, uh, I read a whole bunch of different sources on how to get it done, and finally, finally found out. But it's it's this. I have to go through like two different programs to get the audio source into Streamyard because uh, it it just was a mess. But uh, I wanted to have more control over my audio uh, here prior to it you know, prior to going in there, like I can add, I can add reverb and sound super stupid and everything like that. And uh, I'm going to play with it a little more, but it's, they, you can't noise gate in StreamYard. They don't have like a noise gate option like they would in OBS or somewhere else. So uh, you, you get to these weird places where it can pick up a bunch of stuff if you don't but have you, it filtered out. But you can um, adjust, like um, you can, they have like this, it's weird. They have like this equalization thing where you can, have every have stream automatically adjust everybody's audio, but it doesn't work though because everybody's audio right. is still screwed up. So <laughs> it yeah, happened to me on my stream. I, can't, I have to like lower everybody, and you know it's a pain. Oh, should we should we 